So culture is critically important, I would argue, to yeah. Red Hat's success. And we've worked to build a distinctive culture. I know IBM has been, I mean, it's a storied, over 100-year-old company with a really distinctive culture. How do you see those cultures working together, coming together? Well, working together is the right word. Coming together is, a diff is, is not necessarily the way I would describe this. Jim and I have talked. This was one of the most important things, because to preserve what open source is and the value of it, it is open innovation, right? So all welcome. And therefore, so much, and you've written a lot about open. So part of what binds us is the same mission. We would both agree. We are on a mission to scale open source, right? To scale. So that's a good place to start from when you talk about two cultures. But the next thing, and maybe some people know this, I have, and Jim and I have both agreed, Red Hat should stay an independent unit. Now we say, well, why would you? <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> I, I thought you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we were. Clear on that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thought you, but, well, then I'm glad if people weren't clear on that. But there's really great reasons for that. Um, the whole idea of having a platform that invites innovation from everyone, it means everyone. So you want to have it built on open source, built on open standards. You want any company, not just companies, friend, co-opetition, whoever it is, so that that, for our clients, they can count on that. And then the terms and conditions of open source, right? So all those reasons, the open ecosystem, and the only thing we can help do is help power it to go even further, wider, have it have more people certified, et cetera, right? You know, so think of that as really broad scale horizontally. So we're both in agreement that stays it as an independent unit in the work that um, really Jim, Paul, Arun, the whole team has done, that you've worked so hard on that culture. And, and actually, my observation has been the teams, they work very well together. We've yeah, witnessed really have. all these yes. months. They're very like-minded on this. So then, what's the, the other side of this is that then IBM will change, right? It's easier for me to change and to change IBM in that so much of what Red Hat does will build on top of that. And hopefully then what we'll offer to clients is if they choose a really secure mission critical stack, a hybrid cloud stack. And so there's a choice, or you have a choice to run at other places. But so really continue, and I hope, you know, together we take that as it is the world standard of open around, and it's just a bigger and broader plate for innovation everywhere.